What's going on here? Corcelia? Soldiers, sheathe your swords! We've been looking all over for you, Corcelia. I'm so glad you're all right. Aunt Ornella, I'm sorry we had to do this to your soldiers. Don't worry, they'll be fine. Now, come along with me. Corcelia, what's wrong? I'd rather you just pretend you never saw me. What? Kirill and his friends are good people. Please, don't worry. Plus, there's still something I need to see with my own two eyes. Can't you just trust me? But... Captain Ornella! Yes? Tegraska? What's going on this time? The other military officers have also been ordered to hurry there. We can't just leave our posts unattended. We've been instructed to take over from here. Sounds serious. Very well. You'll pay dearly if anything happens to her. Just this once, Corcelia. You have my deepest gratitude, young lady. You're Simeon, right? There's something we wanted to ask you. Yes, I'm Simeon. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but I don't recall ever meeting you before. Oh, sorry. My name's Corcelia. I'm the granddaughter of Julius, Emperor of Kuluk. W what? Huh? I see. So you're conspiring with those soldiers who tried to take me away just now? No! Let me just explain, please. Well, there's this, um, thing that's turning people into fish monsters. So you're saying that some kind of magic is transforming these people into monsters? Hmm, interesting. I've witnessed it myself a few times. I don't know if it's magic or not, but people do turn into monsters. I know that much is true. But I've never seen the monsters turn back into people. What do you think? Could there be a way to change them back? Proper research, I can't be certain, but based on what you've said, it may well be impossible. Oh no. Hmm. If I went with you, could I see this phenomenon for myself? We're tracking down rune cannons. I think that evil eyes are probably used for their muzzles. If that's the case, I'd say it's highly likely. Then I shall join you. Don't worry, I will not be a burden. Really? You'll join us? Until I actually witness it for myself, I won't be able to find a solution. Plus, if I stay here, the soldiers will return before long. The townspeople suffer each time the soldiers come after me. It is best that I leave. The Emperor's granddaughter? Really? Yeah, really. She's with Simeon. Well, it seems we should make haste. Where'd they go? Ah, uh, guess we're too late. No! Princess! Oh, Princess, please! We don't want fancy clothes or ritzy places to live! But my son, he cries! He cries because he's hungry! All we ask is for a bite to eat!
kidnapping? Keep it down, you idiot. Oh, sorry. You heard what she said. She's the Emperor's granddaughter. If we held her hostage, can you imagine the possibilities? But as soon as word got out, our countries would go to war. I thought our mission was to just investigate ruined cannons. We should wait for orders from... Oh, come on. Don't be such a coward. Seriously, you're absolutely hopeless. <gasps> huh? Good evening. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, good evening. So, are you two going to kidnap me? What? Uh, no. Of course not. Did you overhear us? A little bird told me. Hmm. <laughs> Heinz? Then let's make this short and sweet. Be a good little girl and come with us. Heinz! Are you gonna stop me? Yes. If you try to go through with this, I'll... I'll do everything I can to stop you. <laughs> Relax. It was just a joke. Joke or not, cut it out, please. I don't have time to fool around, and neither does my country. Besides, I already told Kirill and the others to contact the Imperial City if anything happens to me. You little baby. If you leave me alone, I'll keep quiet about this. That'd be best for us all, don't you think? Heinz? Huh. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's all I have to say. It's about time we hit the hay. Yes, sir. Good night, young lady. Good night. Huh. <sighs>